y'all, welcome back. I want to start by saying thank you. I love creating these videos and I want to continue to grow and broaden my channel here. Your support means a lot, so thanks. And as this channel and community begins to grow and reconnect, I want it to be a place of fun and positive vibes, filled with good food, travel, the arts, shopping, and my dog Bennett. <laughs> I invite y'all along to check out a glimpse of my life here in Portland, the journeys that life takes me on, the food that I'm cooking. And on that note, I want to take a journey back, a trip back to one of my first videos I did here on YouTube in 2007. I was still in culinary school and living in Denver at the time, and really kind of longing for those childhood flavors, I guess. So I did a video of red beans and rice. It's still one of my favorites. I'm gonna do it again today with some updates. I'm gonna swap some things out and hopefully make it easier and more delicious for you guys to have at home. So let's get started. And y'all, 14 years ago when I first put this recipe on YouTube, I had absolutely no idea. Um, I thought 25 people like my family would watch it and they'd be happy that it was out there and we had the recipe for our family, but I had no idea. So I was using things that are readily available here in the United States, like smoked sausage, brand name US um, type hot sausage, etc. cetera. Um, and I needed to change that because so many of my viewers, and I mean more than half, are, don't even live in the United States. So I need to show ingredients that are available kind of everywhere, hopefully in some way, form or fashion. Um, so this recipe, instead of the smoked sausage, will have just ground or minced pork, um, bacon. Instead of using bacon fat, not everyone keeps that like I do. Um, you'll need six slices of bacon, three cans of the kidney, kidney beans, um, an onion, celery, green onions. Um, when we cut these, reserve the white parts. Those are going to go in. Um, with the saute and the greens will be added with the parsley and with some garnish and I'll use a lot of this probably half in with the saute as well and the garlic outside of that you'll need some butter cayenne pepper pepper salt Tabasco sauce which if you're not in the United States um, check Amazon for that Worcestershire sauce and two cups of chicken stock and one pot. This is another change from the original recipe. Before I had you guys doing it in two pots and it was complicated. One pot. All right, you guys, as you can see, I'm just taking my time and letting this bacon really melt more than crisp is really the goal here. When you start to get nice color in the bottom of the pan, that's really when you're cooking well because all of this is what's flavor. Um, and that's what we're working to really build up. I'm gonna take just a little pinch of thyme and put that right into the oil along with some cayenne pepper. This is where you can use it to taste one half teaspoon to about a teaspoon or more. Adding that because right on top of that, I'm gonna add this ground pork. I'm gonna turn the heat up and let this really start to brown well, and then season it again with pepper and salt and some other good stuff. All right, y'all, so whenever you're browning, especially ground or minced meat like this, if there's not space for it to spread out, you'll often get liquid in the bottom of the pan, just like here. You need to turn the heat up and let this cook until it's dry again before you move on. Whoops, whoa, <laughs> before you move on. All right, so now the magic is starting to happen in the bottom of the pot, which is exactly 
what we needed to happen. The liquid has evaporated. The fat is there cooking and crisping up these little bits of pork and bacon. Holy crap. <laughs> to that, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of pepper and get all that kind of mixed in. And then all those aromatics. So once you've incorporated the onions and celery, etc., into the meat, go in with about a tablespoon or two of butter. That will melt into it and add a nice amount of flavor and some other fat for us to continue to cook in. Once the butter is melted and the vegetables start to wilt, you want to add half of your beans to this. Reserve the other half. We'll add those in just a second. That sizzle means the right thing's happening down in that pot. So I'm gonna take a potato masher and just go in there and start to squish these beans down into that mixture. It will help add kind of a nice creaminess to this when we get ready to serve. Just a few times around the pot is all you need. Get that shaken out. So now in goes our chicken stock. And you'll wanna get in there with your spoon and scrape up any of those brown bits that have been cooking in the bottom. And there should be some, and that's good. Get all of that stirred up. We're gonna season this with probably just about two pinches of salt, a teaspoon or more of Tabasco sauce, up to your liking, and a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. So the last step here is to turn the heat down. We're gonna simmer this for two hours. So down to, you know, medium low to low. Add the remaining bit of your beans. Stir those in. And we're gonna cover this simmer for two hours. This smells so damn good. Mm. I'm putting the rice on now. Um, to this, I'm going to add a bay leaf and probably 10, um, 12 peppercorns to the water right before I add my rice. Doing that is such an easy thing and it adds just such a nice layer of flavor with these southern Louisiana style dishes. When this gets served, it's going to get garnished with my cut of standby. It's green onion and parsley minced and combined. It's delicious and I use it on everything. Needs to be served with some kind of bread and I'm not doing a typical New Orleans style French bread. I'm going to use this delicious Asian milk bread. It's, I mean, if you know, you know, it's so good, bouncy and great. I've got some melted butter here. I'm gonna put in some really finely chopped up parsley and some delicious flaked sea salt. And then just with a pastry brush, I just brush this right onto the bread and that'll get toasted right before I serve the beans. Style bread up kind of Texas toast style with the butter and the parsley and the extra salt and damn, it is good. The second you take the lid off that rice, you'll know exactly why you add those extra seasonings in there. I hope if you guys get a chance to make this that you enjoy it as much as I do because it's so good.